Hello everybody and welcome to another playthrough. Now this time I'm going to be playing Decay the Mare, which is a combination of three chapters in the Decay series, two of which are old, one of which is newly released. But um, I haven't actually played any of them before. But uh, this is what the game's meant to be about. I'm going to be playing as Sam and apparently, Sam is an addict who ends up in an institution named Reaching Dreams, hoping to kick his drug problem and sort out his miserable life. But during the first night, something goes horribly wrong, and he gets stuck in an endless nightmare. Okay, so play tutorial or skip the tutorial. Now, I haven't played any of the Decay games, as I said earlier, so I'm just going to play this one. Hopefully, it's not too long. Uh, okay, click on the navigation icon at the bottom to turn around this little arrow. Yep, apparently. Move the cursor to search for objects. Oh, okay, so it, yeah, context-sensitive mouse, which you should be able to see. You should be able to see the cursor. So it's going to play like a point-and-click adventure game. Is that right? Okay, so I, I use the door, use the handle. Right, okay, it, it's locked, but I did use the door, fine. So that's the little, that's the hand icon. So magnifying glass is like examine? Kind of, yeah. Uh, the question mark icon will give you a hint if you get stuck. Where's, oh right, right at the bottom right. And yeah, click on the icon to get a hint. So hopefully for the only time in the game, let's click that icon. Uh, you need to search more in this room. Fine, I suppose, but pretty obvious, but fine, okay. We can keep going. I'll open this up, maybe? Yeah? And have a look inside? At nothing? There is nothing in here? Okay, fine, fine. Okay, alright, and so we just push this button and we're going back out. Okay, fine. Can we have a look at the poster? No? Of, of someone's dog, it seems? Okay. Light switch? No. Alright, I'm just going to turn around. Okay, so it's just a, a normal point-and-click adventure game, I assume. Is there like a, an icon, uh, an item screen or anything? Do we pick up items in this game, I wonder? Uh, nothing in the bed, nothing around the lights. No. Books. There. Okay, I can actually examine the plate over here. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, we've got we've got a couple of drugs in here. I was told to take my medicine before I went to bed. Take the medicine, yes or no? Yeah, I guess. Probably the worst decision I'll ever make, really, but yeah. Why not? What is a friend? Is a friend. Oh, okay, so I won't have to read everything out. That's good. Saves my throat a bit. Is a friend a static view of a staircase? Or a nose? Yeah, you know, I told you taking this medicine would be bad. <laughs> Reaching dreams, so that's where I'm staying, apparently. Whoa. 
Is that like a bowling ball or something? This is pretty creepy, actually. This is like watching uh, the video from The Ring a little bit. The worm? Oh, hello. Someone's getting touchy-feely. Wait, whoa. Did I press a button there? I don't think I did. That, that just cut out sort of like halfway. So that was all a dream, right? Right, okay. All right. By the way, at the end of the video, if you are if you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like or a comment, and I'll uh, continue this series. But you know, if not, I'll consider this a, a no go, and I'll I'll stop making it. So, uh, yeah. All right. So let's have a look at the bed, which has changed. Can't use that. Still can't use the light. Bars across the window. Can't get through there. Let's have a look. Have I? Did I? I took the medicine. I took the medicine. I took my medicine before I went to bed, and probably swilled it down with some water or something. Can I have a look at any, any of the books? Okay. I'm just going to turn around. Has anything changed? Okay. Slightly different angle for this. What's in there? Someone's hiding it. It's the boogeyman. No? Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Okay. Alright. Let's back out. Now, I'm wondering, is this open? Had a feeling it might be. What? What the hell is this? Okay. It's like a, a, a kitchen slash lounge. Am I a big baby? Yeah, I, I feel like I'm in a big crib right now or a prison. Window over there, still got, got bars on it as well. It's a pretty creepy face on that, t on that TV monitor over there. I, uh... Can't examine anything on this side though, it doesn't seem so. Anything over here? Can I examine the TV? No, that definitely looks like a kitchen over there. That's weird. Okay, I'm gonna turn to the right. Huh, alright, well, so we've got three doors. Two on the right, one on the left. Let's try this one on the right to start off with. It's locked. Okay, let's try this one over here. Nah, number one. Number one. Wait, was I in a number? Hang on, let me turn around. Yeah, I just tried number two. I came out of three. Hang on. Oh, hang on. I can look. I can look at this. Specifically. Okay, but it won't open. Alright. Um, I'll try mine, but I think that'd be kind of pointless right now. What about, what about number one? What about number one? Let's try number one. Is that blood or rust? Uh, I can't really tell, but anyway, it won't open. Maybe the door will, though? No, that's locked. Okay. Okay, authorized personnel only. Do I do I fit that? Alright, I'm authorized personnel. Or somebody left the door open. Alright, what's going on here? Weird sort of barricade for that corridor. I'm looking at the gap. Enter? Oh, just like with the medicine, it's probably not a very good idea, but yes. Yes, okay. That's pretty cool so far, actually. I like this. Um, okay. Let's, let's go down. I'm pretty sure that's that's blood stains on the walls there. Yeah, or, or burn mark. Could be rust. Ah, it may be rust, actually. I don't know. What does that say? Let me just go a bit closer. Time is an illusion. What? And who's this photo of? Someone related to me, maybe? I don't know. Am I still dreaming? I'm wondering. I think I might still be dreaming. Time is an illusion, though. Alright. I think I'm going to have to use the door. Time is an illusion, yeah. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> uh, we have a monster of some sort. What the hell is happening here? I have no idea. Can I turn around? Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Alright. Those bars actually did come down. Okay, I can't go back. I'm trapped down here now. What the hell? I think I must be dreaming. I must be. Right. So I'm just going to sort of scan my cursor over the area before I go into different rooms, I guess. Uh, I'm hoping that door ahead of me, the Time's Illusion door, um, is going to be unlocked. There's nothing else for me to find here, I don't think, so let's go. Right. Okay. Alright. So let's just do a bit of a scan, shall we? I'm try trying to keep away from the hint button. For now, anyway. It's going to be pretty dire 
when I uh, when I do have to hit that. Right, what am I examining here? I'm not examining anything. I'm just sort of moving. Hmm, okay. Let's have a look at this door then behind me. Okay. This door is also locked. And there's blood on the lock. That is blood. Quite a lot of blood as well. Alright. Weird, weird place to stay, really, isn't it? Anything in this bookshelf that takes my fancy? Nothing. Nothing at all. Alright. Let's turn around, keep going. What's the deal with the eyes? I guess I can I examine them? No. Uh, no, I can't examine the eyes. I can examine this. It's like a ring. It's a it's a hoop on the floor. Alright. Just a close up of the eyes though, it seems. Ah. Uh, and that's all that. <laughs> Pretty much, that's it. There's nothing actually to examine there. There's like a newspaper on the wall. Alright. Uh, th this door over here. Let's give this a go. Okay. Can I use that handle or anything? Uh, yeah, I think I can examine it. Yeah. Sure. Right, so this is probably going to be a puzzle. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing with these. Uh, can I use them then? Use handle in the bottom left, okay. I don't think I want to use it quite yet. But we can turn it all the way up to nine. Okay, fine. So we just set up everything up to max and see what happens. Why not, in my opinion? Let's uh let's give this a go. Probably gonna blow a fuse, but who knows? Nothing happens. Nothing happens, okay. Okay. Fine, fine. So let's leave that. I'm not gonna press hint. Right up now, I'm, I'm sure there's a clue to that somewhere, and I'll, I'll feel I'd feel like I was cheating if I pressed hint right now. Okay, to the left. Ah, uh, let's have a look. There is something close to the fan. Fan blades. Well, there's there's bars, and I think more blood and rust. Someone's had like a, their own little cell with no door, maybe. Something close to the fan. What are you talking about? There's nothing that actually stands out to me. Maybe I've got my brightness on way too low or something, but I'm not seeing anything else. Unless you mean the, the sort of yellowy orange thing behind it? In which case I have no idea what that is. Something close to the fan. Yeah, that might be what they're talking about. It might, might be what Sam's talking about. Hmm, anyway, I'll turn around. I guess I'll come back to that. Sure. Hmm. Very strange, very strange. Yeah, another creepy, creepy image on the wall. I don't know what that is. Palette, wood, paper that I can't use. Right. Yeah, someone just took some uh, newspaper articles and just sort of like put them on the wall for some reason. I'm not really sure why. We, we can go down. We're going down. Can we open the door? Good. Okay, because I haven't found a key yet. All right. Uh... Right. What? Oh, hang on. What's this? Dr oh, okay, drawing. Pick up. So you do pick stuff up. You, you actually have items? This icon will appear when the player has items in the inventory. Click on the item to... Oh, click on the icon up here. Right, I see. Oh, brilliant. So we can examine, use, and even combine them. Okay, let's, let's examine, because I don't really know what that is. Well, it's a drawing of a skull. The youth is crying. Under that is, um, oh, it's backwards. The moon is burning. On the right here, the men are watching. And love is penetrated. Love is penetrated. Is up this left side. Okay, and some sort of flower down there. Okay. Very strange. Very, very strange. I'm going to close that. I am going to take a look at this hole. Okay. It's too dark, there's no way I'm crawling in there. Good, okay, good. I'm actually happy about that. Um, although, I'm hoping there's some other way out. Right? So, okay, I can look to the right or the left. Let's go to the left. So we have a door here. Uh, this is the door I came through, I think, maybe? I'm not sure about that one, actually. Which one, which one did I come through? This one? Or the other one? Ah, uh, no, no. This is the same place, isn't it? So let's go back, let's go back. Must have been the other door. The one to the right. The one over here. This one? Yeah? 
Unless they're completely identical rooms. No, okay. Okay, fine. Uh, sure. So let's uh, examine the door. Has, has it got holes in it or something? Okay, it's locked. There are stickers of a of a dog's head on the door. That's what they. That's what these are. I thought they were holes in the door myself, but fine, fine. Okay. Weird game so far, but I'm enjoying it actually. I'm I'm pretty partial to a point-and-click adventure game, especially if it's horror-related, and I think this one is. My only, um, my only little niggle so far, actually, is that the, the magnifying glass, which I consider to be examined, is actually also move. So, when I think I'm examining something, I'm actually moving closer towards it. What's that? Can I examine that? Ah! I can! It's a list of names. My name is at the bottom. Alright. So, I'm going to pick that up, and I'm going to examine that. Uh, that one up there, right? Yes. Okay, so we have a drawing and a note. So, a list of names. Nicholas, and Jesse, Robert, Joseph, Ronald, Anthony, Stephen, David, Carl, George, Jeff, Paul, Christian, Sam. That's my name. That's me. Sam Eldritch. Sam Eldritch. Okay, so Lovecraft. Brilliant. <laughs> that man has influenced so many horror games, it is not even funny. Uh, right, okay, so... What's to the right? Just out of interest. Okay. Kind of like a parallel of what we saw earlier, but with, like, more bloodied carpets. <laughs> um, okay. Alright, let me just spin around, spin around. Yeah, I'll do it again. There's a door here. Let's have a look at this door. Okay. I can go in. <laughs> this is cool. I like this. So, yeah, leave a like if you want to see more. I like this. Uh, I, I, I'm examining these. Okay. What the fuck? Have they have they finally created the technology to transform gifts into paintings? Amazing. I mean, it's kind of creepy, but I'm I'm just astounded. Okay, All right. I'm sure there's a point to that. I'm definitely dreaming. That I mean that wasn't real, right? So, okay. Can't examine the cloth, or I think these are bricks. Let's go to the left. Oh, I see. Go, go, go actually around the corner. I see. Okay. Examine the brick wall? Sure, why not? Uh, any of these bricks? You know, can I use any of them? Sort of spamming every single brick with my cursor. I mean, there's a hole right there. Do I have to use one of these loose ones and, and, and fill it in, maybe? Yeah, be a very amateur brick layer that I am. I, I don't see a point to this. I'm getting very close to that hint button, but I'm not going to click it. I'm not going to click it. Okay. All right. I, I'm sure that has a point. I'm, I'm sure that has a point. All right. So let's go this way. Uh, what's this? What's this? I can examine this specifically. It's a bear. It's a teddy bear. I don't get to pick it up. No. I don't get him to comfort me like among the sleep. That's a shame. All right. So I've seen a couple of like photos of kids, and there's a teddy bear there. Mm, I'm sure this is all very symbolic. That's that's all I'm thinking of. Uh, okay, let's leave. There's another door to my left, and there's another one down the stairs, which kind of seems like I've already been through it, but it's another one. Okay. Huh, I'm having pretty good luck with the doors today. Is that the moon outside? Jeez, I think it might be. Wait, what's this? What is that? Okay, it's a ring. It's a hoop. I've seen one of these. I can't interact with this one. I couldn't interact with the other one either. What's the deal with the hoops? I mean, that's it. Why, why give me the close-up of that if, if it's so unimportant? Maybe I just need a reason to pick them up. Yeah, maybe I need the reason before I can actually use them. That's, that's why. That's that's the old noggin working for me. It's probably completely wrong, but all right. Let's turn around. Got a chair there. Okay, we can't use the light switch or anything. Can't actually see anything in that corner. I'm just gonna leave. Huh? Okay. Yeah, having a lot of luck with the doors. I'm going into new areas, but I'm not really doing anything. I don't think. Okay. 
Can we interact with the, the bloody carpets or mats or whatever these are? Sheets, maybe? I don't think so. I don't think so. But I can go down, and so I will. Is this going to be open? Blimey, it is. Alright. Okay. All right, door in front of me, door to the right. Can I actually examine that? I'm actually examining this. Okay, there's a there's a something on the chair. It's a wooden handle. I'm going to pick this up. A wooden handle to what though? I'm um can I have a, a look, another look? Um examine. It's the handle of a sledgehammer. Okay. Oh, I see, and you can rotate it as well. Okay, just in case it's got some sort of clue on it maybe. I don't know, some sort of code written on the back. Um all right. So I guess I need to I need to find the head of the sledgehammer then, don't I? Maybe bash down some of the doors I can't get through. Maybe I don't know. All right. Oh, I guess I'll keep an eye out. We have a door. We have a door that opens. Okay. We have an American flag and a mannequin who has disguised himself as boxes. And I can actually have a look at this mannequin. You have a big head, sir. Okay. I'm going in for a closer look. Examine in uh, yes or no. I'm fairly sure something is going to happen if I say yes. So no, not quite yet. I'll come back to you. You creepy. Anyway, yeah, always, always a bit sort of uh, uncertain, uneasy around mannequins, uncanny valley, and all that. There's actually nothing else here that I can have a look at. Not even the boxes that he appears to be standing in. All right. What's this? Ah, I can read this. Tory. Tori was here. Tori was here. Nice kitten picture up there. Can't have a look at those boxes. Okay, fine. I don't think there's anything else in this room. I'm going to have a look at your head in greater detail, sir. Hope you don't mind. Right, okay. You're going to look at me or something, aren't you? Hang on. Right, I can... I can move his eyes? Well, not exactly move them, click them, push them in, and they spring back. Why? Um, have I overlooked something, maybe, in these? In these notes? Maybe. This one had a skull, actually. Maybe, maybe. Let's have another look at this. Uh, is there anything about eyes? It's showing the sort of right side of his face, the right half of his skull. Youth is crying, the moon is burning, the men are watching, love is penetrated. No. Can we can we examine it like we can the sledgehammer and you know flip it round? I can scroll up and down, which is kind of neat, but I don't think I can twist it. So I'm hoping there's nothing on the back. Maybe I can on some of them, I don't know. Oh, I just tried to use it, and apparently no. The game is telling me no. What were you thinking? You can't use this note with a mannequin's head. Uh, I just wanted to examine it, actually, though. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can scroll up and down. But I don't think you can turn this round, so... I assume that Sam knows there's nothing on the other side. What are these scratch marks and blood stains all about, though? I mean, this is very weird. Okay, alright. Just on the off chance that this may work, wooden handle? Do you have a slot somewhere that I haven't seen yet? No, apparently not. I can't use this here. Okay, fine, fine. Okay. I guess I'll come back to you, sir. Don't go anywhere. Hmm. Something to do with the eyes. Something to do with the eyes. I can push the eyes in. Fine, okay, fine. Let's use this door here, then. Right. Oh, not again. Yes, again. We have another little hoop thing. And I can examine it in front of all these condescending faces that are sort of frowning at me. Can I have a look in greater detail at any of these? No. Okay, that one's just like a photo that's been split into two frames, which is a, bit, a little bit odd. What is the deal with these things? There, there must be a reason I'm looking at every single one of them. There must be. And I'm sure you're in the comments right now saying, well, actually, you can use that and that and that and... That's why you're looking at these and blah blah blah. What the fuck? A butterfly? A red butterfly. It's beautiful. Okay. 
Can I enter, please, Mr. Butterfly? No, it won't open. Do you have the key, by any chance? Okay. This game is so weird. I must be dreaming. I must be dreaming. It's that photo again. All the windows barred. Seems more like a prison, really, than anything else, doesn't it? Hold up, hold up. What about these books on the floor? Not having any luck. No? Okay, to the left? Other side of the room? No? The wallpaper just comes out of nowhere. Very weird. Can't take a tea before. I can't use the palette or anything. Okay. Moving on. Uh, I can't go through that door, so I guess I need to find a key. Ah, okay. The door is stuck. It won't budge. So we've come to the end of the line. So now I have to start figuring stuff out. Oh no! Brain power! Oh shit! Okay. Um, so there's something to do with it. The, there's something about the mannequin head that we need to solve. There's like the butterfly room over there. That needs a key. I obviously need to find like the, the head of a sledgehammer somewhere. I don't know where that might be. I haven't seen it yet, but I guess I'll just go I'll just go back through the rooms and just have a look. Maybe I haven't been paying too much attention or anything, I don't know. If we flip my, myself around, is there something on the wall maybe? No, just a close-up of a pipe. Alright, I'm just going to examine this room one more time. It's got to be something to do with your head. I'm fairly sure when you push the eyes in, I mean it clicks, so it's like a button. Is there anything else I could is there anything else I could push? I don't know. Examine you again. So I can click both of the eyes. Can I shove my finger up your nostril or something? Put my finger in your ear? No, I can't access your orifices or anything like that. You can't have a look at the American flag or anything either. It's all about the eyes. There's got to be some sort of combination I have to press them in. I don't know what. Ah, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh... No, I had a look at both of these. I still don't, still don't get it. Wait. If we're hang on, if we're talking eyes, if we're talking eyes, I need to have a look at those gift paintings again. Let's let's go back. Where were they? Oh my god, I I'm lost. <laughs> uh somewhere up here maybe. Not there. That's the room. The the room moon. The moon room. Maybe through here. Paintings on the right, yes, with the brick wall, right, yes, okay. Well, they're blinking. Ah, hang on. Wait. Okay, le is it left? Right, left, 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 right. Left, right, left, left, right. It's worth a shot in my book. I don't want to press the hint button. I'm going to try and do everything in my power not to press the hint button. Even end videos and ask you for tips. <laughs> but, you know, I think it might be worth it. Left, left, right, left, left, right. Or maybe right, left, right, right, left. I'll try both of those. Maybe one of them will work. I don't know. Okay. Okay, for the third time, I'm just going to have to push your eyeballs. So let's go with left, right, left, left, right. Right, left, left, right, right, okay, friggin' grey cells are working beautifully today, well done. So, what's this? What is this? It's a key. It's a, what is that? It's like a dog attached to it? Ah, maybe it's for the dog sticker room. I'll pick it up. I'll examine it as well, actually, now I think about it. Uh, if I can, there it is, examine. Yep, yeah, that is definitely a dog. It doesn't have anything on the key or anything, but um, let's go hit that room up, shall we? Cool. So let's get out of that. Tori was here. Is that Tori's key? Tori's room? We're gonna we're gonna go to maybe. Hmm. I still have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> no idea at all. But I'm having fun, and that's the main part. So right. It was one up here. I think it was here. Can I not turn to the to the left? No. Very weird. 
uh, angles to work with, but I found the door. Uh, yeah, it's locked. Stickers of the dog's head. I'm hoping this is it. Let's give it a go. So, use. Yeah, there you go. There you go. And we're in. Okay. This is somewhat creepy. <laughs> let's um let's have a look. Who who is this person? Oh, they're all winking at me. I s they just winked at me, didn't they? Do it again. I'm not crazy, right? Well, I probably am actually. <laughs> this is very weird. Okay, let's let's leave. Is there something else? Hang on, there is actually like a little dresser table here. What's in the drawer, then? What's that? A coin! Pick up. I'll pick up a coin. Yes, sure. Wait, is that what the... Yeah, I, I was wondering what this thing was in the bottom left. Like, zero out of five. It's a coin, so I found a coin. Okay, examine it. It's a coin. Heads. Oh, they're both double-headed coin, eh? Oh, okay. Who have you been conning? And that's all we're going to get. Alright. This is very, very weird. Let's look at the right wall to start off with. Uh, okay. I can look at all of these photos, but this is the one I can have a look at properly. Because it's got a scratch across it. Huh, yeah, okay, pick it up, pick it up. Fine. Let's, let's keep turning. I'm going to turn to the right again. Even more photos, I don't know why I'm surprised. Did that one have a red eye? It kind of looks like it, but I don't think that's completely intentional. I'm going to turn right again, so we'll be looking at the left wall here. I mean, oh, we've actually... Oh, I see. We've got a photo here. Oh, sorry, we've got a frame here without a photo inside it. Maybe that's why I have to use this? Maybe? Is there something written on the back? Uh, not exactly. Detach the paper. Jenny was it, tired of the city life. This is cool. She decided to fulfill her dream. Live alone in a house in the woods, outside of town. After a few weeks, she truly understood how much she loved it. She had found a place where she would grow old. Or so she thought. One night, before going to sleep, Jenny noticed something strange outside the house. It was difficult to see because it was so dark, but when she turned on the lamps in the room, she could clearly see a man standing next to the shed in the uncut grass. It was almost like he was observing her. Nine meters from the house. Even though he terrified her, she decided to confront him but once she was outside, the man was gone. She naturally assumed that he'd ended up there by chance and disappeared immediately as soon as he saw that someone was in the house. A few days later, Jenny had already forgotten about the man. In the evening, Jenny heated up some milk. Drinking warm milk made her sleep better. She walked around the house and took small sips of the hot milk. She stopped at one of the windows and froze when she saw the man again. He stood about six meters from the house. This time, she could clearly see him. He was pale and skinny. His eyes reminded her of a doll's. The empty eyes looked at her, but at the same time, they didn't. She was about to open the window when he suddenly began walking out of her sight towards the entrance of the house. She ran quickly to the kitchen and picked up a knife. She stood there, frozen, waiting for the man. But he never came. A few minutes later, she went out to check if he was still there. He wasn't. Time went by and once again, Jenny started to forget about the man. But on this night, it felt strange somehow, almost as if she was being watched. 
Despite this incredibly unpleasant feeling, Jenny decided to try and get some much needed sleep. As she was turning off the lamps in the house, she noticed something in the corner of her eye. Something that's not usually there. It was the man. One meter from the window. Jenny was so scared that she screamed out loud, then she ran and hid in the bedroom. She heard his footsteps through the grass outside the house. It sounded like he was moving closer to the entrance. Jenny remembered the second time she had seen him, when he also walked towards the entrance, but then disappeared of his own free will. The thought calmed her until she heard the door slam open. As she screamed, she realised she had nothing she could defend herself with. She turned around and opened the window, jumped out and ran towards her car that was parked five metres from the house. She was trembling with fear when she started the car. As she drove away, she looked into the rear view mirror. The man was standing at the window, looking right at her. <laughs> I was getting quite into that, to be honest, even if it was a little bit cheesy uh, with, the, with the telling of it. But no, that's kind of cool. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, that's that's kind of fun. I wonder if there's any stories or was this a newspaper clipping or a story? I think it's a story. Um, behind any of the other photos? Maybe. Still got a photo here. I'm wondering, can I use it? No. There's a frame there. There's a frame there, and I can't use it. Okay, fine. Right. Well, this is awfully creepy. I'll give you that. Uh, and to be honest guys, I've been playing for quite a while now, so I'm going to continue playing this game whether I record it or not, but if you leave a like, I'm going to hit that record button. See you next time. What? Time is an illusion, yeah. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> right. Left, left, right. Right! Okay! Friggin' grey cells are working beautifully today. Well done.